Bowman 2, Raft Wars 2, Fire Boy and Water Girl, Henry Stickman Games, I'm Talking, Steal the Diamond, Escape the Prison, Mama's Cooking Game, Three Foot Ninja, Three Foot Ninja 2, King of Fighters Wing. And if you still don't know what this video is about, it's about Flash games. If you can hear some echo and bad camera angle and background, it's because I've recently moved and I'm trying to make the best of what I have. So I apologize in advance. But anyways, let's start talking about Flash games. Now, if you recognized any of the Flash games that I mentioned, which essentially means that you know what Flash games are and probably have your own personal favorite Flash game websites as well, whether that is Miniclip.com, Armored Games, Addicted Games, Two Player Games, Freeve. Or if you really know your websites, zapack.com. And if you know zapack, maybe you should be the one sitting here talking about flash games and not me. My introduction to PC gaming was actually made on flash games, and I remember spending a lot of time grinding crazy Flasher 3 and Electric Man. Till one fine day, I went to my friend's house, thinking that we were gonna play Bowman, only for him to launch a game in which a man in a blue Hawaiian shirt is absolutely destroying a city. And the moment I saw him chop off the head of people using a katana. In that very moment, I felt like I need to play this game as well. So I handed my friend my 8 GB pen drive and said to him, "Ye game mere pen drive mein dal do. Ye mujhe bhi khelna hai." And being the computer geniuses that me and my friend were, he just copied the game's desktop icon and pasted it in the pen drive folder. Genius. <laughs> But anyways, then for a later few years, I was all about Grand Theft Auto, San Andreas, Three, Vice City, Max Payne, NFS, Condition Zero, CS 1.6. Like I was absolutely having a blast playing these games. But with time, games were changing and advancing at a pretty rapid pace, and my Lenovo PC just couldn't keep up with it. So that feeling of being left out and not being able to play any newer title really freaking sucked. and i felt my interest in video games starting to fade but in that very moment i had my ludwig moment <laughs> ah you were at my side all along See somehow I managed to put Bloodborne in one of my videos. Man, do I want to play Bloodborne so bad, but I can't because there's no remake of the game. This is uh, this is gone off script. My bad. The amount of memories that I have of playing flash games, whether that is by myself or with my friends, and having an absolute blast. I really love all of these memories, and I know I'm not the only one either. Like I ain't the only one who launched new grounds when no one was home. Yeah, I know your secrets. <laughs> And I'm unfortunate that you can't access new grounds in my country anymore which sucks not unless you have a VPN. You see flash games are the reason why some of your favorite YouTubers are where they are. And if you ask how or why, I don't know, maybe it's just because of hundreds of videos that they made on, you know, one particular flash game. What was that game's name again? Wheels something? Hot Wheels? Oh, Happy Wheels. Right, right, right. My bad. Hollow Knight, probably the best Metroidvania game that I have ever played in my life. was actually a flash game called Hungry Knight which was also made by the same developers now i will be the first one to admit hungry knight and hollow knight look way different than each other but if you look at the mechanics hungry knight laid the foundation on which hollow knight would later be built on so in some sense you can say hungry knight worked so hollow knight could run another great example is club penguin like i mean i can just keep on going talking about how great flash games are and how iconic flash games are But you know what question is worth answering? Like what makes flash games so iconic? Flash games appeal to everyone because of one major component, the freedom of choice. Out of the thousands of games that you see, you can pick any of them up and start playing all for the great price of free. For example, you can buy a movie ticket and not have a fun experience or buy a video game and not enjoy your experience of playing them. With flash games, there is no such factor because that feeling of ah, I wasted my money on something and I didn't really have fun does not exist. If you don't like the flash game that you're playing at the moment, just switch on to a new one. Flash games were like the fire link shrine for broke gamers like me. and that's a damn good line that i just wrote so thank you like it was a safe haven for all the gamers who had trash computers flash games you didn't really need any powerful system all you needed was a stable internet connection or if you really had slow internet or dial up internet you also needed a lot of patience now the question in your mind probably is are you know if flash games are so good 
and so iconic then why don't people play them anymore or why do i not hear about them anymore the simple answer is that adobe stopped supporting adobe flash at the end of 2020 and trust me i know this because i was there 3000 years ago like flash had its own security issues privacy issues and not to mention the fact that sometimes when you played a flash game it could occasionally consume 100 percent of your ram i know google chrome does that anyways now but still but really were these the main reasons no what was the main reason and it's a pretty evident answer if you don't know it yet mobile phone games and aryan sahu starts dunking on mobile phone games again trust me that's not my intention at all i'm just telling you what i feel is right remember when i said before what was the features that made flash games so iconic all of those features that i mentioned mobile phone games also have them with the bonus feature of portability which means you can play any game anywhere and whenever you want there's no restriction the only thing needed sometimes would be cellular data which you can get anyways for cheap so there are no barriers whereas for flash games on the other hand you need a pc or a computer or a laptop and with stable internet connection with mobile phone games there is no such condition you can play some mobile games offline as well and of course on top of that adobe flash wasn't supported on any newer mobile phones or any other devices downfall of flash was pretty inevitable now i'm not saying that you can't play any flash games anymore of course there are plenty of websites on which you can play flash games now some of your flash games might not be on there the ones that you love but there are still plenty of them for you to get that experience of playing flash games once again I wanted to make a video on flash games for quite some time just wanted to express my love for flash games and how much flash games mean to me and yeah that's it i really wanted to make a video about flash games again i apologize for the background and the echo i'm really trying to make videos while moving it's pretty hectic at the moment <laughs> and don't worry i'm not gonna nostalgia bait anymore this is probably one of the last nostalgia bait ideas that i had i have much more to offer than just nostalgia baiting my audience and it might not necessarily be gaming every time so look stay tuned in if you want to watch more stuff and i'll see you guys in the next time peace wow you made it to the end of the video that's amazing then maybe you should watch the video that's on your screen right now i 100 percent recommend the video that's on your screen because that video is amazing